What is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got 50 Cent back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like we also got his son, Marquise, back in the click today, you guys. Now, click, it looks like Marquise has actually spoken out again since his father, 50, actually did a interview with The Breakfast Club, basically expressing himself, saying that if his son really wanted to talk to him, he wouldn't have went to TMZ to speak about it to the world. He would have called him. Now, Marquise is actually coming out stating that he don't have 50 Cent number and that 50 Cent got him blocked on Instagram so he can't even hit him in the DMs. Now, click, before I even read what his son said, said i definitely want to play the audio clip of 50 cent speaking about his son you know phil everybody wants to know is there a possibility of of, of you you know actually your son your son wants to sit down with you no he doesn't see so I mean, you would call me he'll call tmz to say he wants to mm. think about it man mm. you know he wants some attention it's okay you can have as much that as you want now click once 50 cent did say that i was like you know that does make sense like why would you go to tmz if you got my number but when marquise actually slammed those claims he was like listen i don't even have his number he even screen recorded from his page to prove that his father blocked him on instagram so he literally went this far as to show everybody that he can't even get in contact or get close to being able to contact him through instagram so he just wanted Wanted to just prove that he's actually blocked so anywho marquise also posted a picture of 50 cent and him when he was younger and he also posted that picture of him with 50 cents rival the guy who the fed said was the mastermind behind trying to murder 50 cents so ever since that really happened 50 was just like uh -uh, i ain't with this guy i wouldn't be upset if he got hit by a bus because that is violation right but as you can see on the picture it was tagged in with the actual guy which is james bernard for baller alert and academics they didn't tag 50 cents son now click peep this marquise is now denying the fact that he ever even knew the man in this picture and that he didn't know who this person was until after he took the picture what what is absolutely right now he says now y'all all see i tried to reach out to talk to my pops as a man in front of the world and behind the scenes i have no number for you and you've had me blocked on social media for years so i can't dm you personally and everybody that is mutual is scared to touch the topic because they scared of you this seems to be the only way to reach you i'm not a kid anymore no mommy involved i don't want nor need money from you i stand on my own too i don't like attention i had so many opportunities opportunities to get that and i choose not to i saw the breakfast club interview and it didn't sound like much accountability there just ego blaming and more so about money as if you were the child in the situation those text messages was me i was waiting outside for you that was the day you broke my heart i forgave you for it i don't know that kid his friend asked for a pic and he fanned out and held it for years look at the tags in the picture everybody but me if that was what i was trying to do i would have posted it myself the bozo said it himself we didn't and don't know each other just a goofy clout chaser trying to sell shirts of his alleged dad who he don't even got a jail visit picks with and hitting up people that know me trying to set up an event for some bread but y'all think it's about the attention and money for me right if i knew who he was i wouldn't have done that i found out the same way the rest of y'all did y'all can stop the cap now i apologize to anybody that this photo may have hurt but i wasn't aware who he claims to be i thought it was just a fan asking for a picture any other enemies you've seen me in a pick with i've known them to be family damn near my entire life because of my pops you only know the kid marquise come meet the man hashtag now you know the truth hashtag let's break the cycle wow that is so powerful <sighs> academy award <laughs> now click i ain't gonna lie that did catch me because i was like okay we hear his side i really wanted him to talk about that but i was actually wrong so obviously it wasn't his rival it was his rival's son however it's still f 
up if that's what he was trying to do and be petty. But he's stating he's not trying to be petty. He even posted up a screenshot of a DM that somebody was texting him saying, yo, King, let's hop on a call. Ninja's got a big A bag for us and we need to take that ish. 50K each. Hit me back. Hit me up ASAP. Now, Click 50 Cent has yet to really respond to that, but I do have mixed emotions about it. I understand where 50 is coming from, but now we got another perspective and another side. So I don't know, Click. I'm really torn in between the two. But Click, it looks like Marquise may have gotten himself in some trouble by actually reposting that text message because the guy McGriff actually came out on his Instagram to kind of look like a little threat. Like he feel like Marquise is on some police is. He also saying that he leaked his number and now everybody's calling his phone and y'all take a look. La, bro. This is not the time for this. This is definitely, I'm going to tell you one time, bro. One time, delete that post off your page, bro. Because you want attention right now. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work out how you think it's going to work out, bro. You want attention right now, bro. When y'all started posting text messages and screenshots and DMs of what people were saying, bro. I'm going to tell you one time, bro. Marquise, you don't want this problem, bro. Delete that post off your page. You you leaking my number? You leaked my number, bro? You got people calling my phone and calling me and texting me? Yo, you really on some fed, yo. You on some police shit, bro. And, and these people on the internet, it's not cool for somebody to post messages and, and, and DMs and stuff like that and, and screenshot them and record phone conversations. Bro, you on some police shit, bro. And I'm going to tell you one time, and this is my last time addressing you and talking to you, bro. Take that post down. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. I don't know, Click. This seems like this might be a lot personal than what we really thought. But what I will say is that is 50 Cent's son. And I do think that he owe him a sit down because you're grown adults. And I do feel like they definitely should talk and just see if they could get past some things. Work it out. Hash it out. Life is too short. As far as this dude, he better take that post down because that dude bite his lip at the end of the video. I'm, I was a little scared. Anywho, Click, we gonna stay updated on this situation because it seems like it's getting a little messy and y'all know we gotta talk about it so i'm gonna make my reservations and y'all know we most definitely going to definitely talk about it y'all let me know what y'all feel about this in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts but let's move straight on to royalty back in the click today you guys and it looks like she finally let cj see the twins now this time she didn't just drop them off i'm guessing that she actually literally stayed there the whole time while watching him watch the kids <laughs> And y'all know it wouldn't be royalty if she don't take a flick in his bedroom. But as y'all know, this was going to be posted on the Shade Room Teens. And a lot of people in the comment section didn't have much nice things to say about this. However, Click, CJ made it clear in his vlog that royalty did not spend a night. So when she snapped that picture on the second day in his bedroom, she came back over to the crib, allegedly. See, I didn't want them to leave, but of course, royalty's not about to spend a night at my house. She doesn't want to. And uh, that's fine. We definitely co-parenting and it's a good thing it felt really really good well that's exactly what i'm looking to hear for because honestly life is too short you got kids you know you want to do a positive healthy co-parenting nothing wrong with that however i want to see how long she gonna continue to do these supervised visits because sis he could be there alone with his kids let him spend time by himself i definitely feel like if that was me i would let my baby father spend time by himself with the kids you never had a problem with him watching the kids when you would leave out the crib so i don't think it should be anything wrong with him being alone with them now that you both are not together but click in all reality let's just keep it real sometimes it's really good for the kids to see both parents coexisting without arguing and fighting now click this person said why he can't never watch them kids by himself why she gotta be there she had to get pictures in and of his house bye they gonna be back together soon now this person said why does she always gotta be there when she let him see the kids like girl be effing for real he for show him both of his baby moms he could have seen him by himself taking pictures in his mirror is crazy though at this point i don't care for them no more like i used to now they make the back of my head itch i mean click at this point all i'm gonna say is keep healthy co-parenting whatever works for them works for them and i mean let's be real if they do end up back together we wouldn't be surprised anyways it's nothing new so if she does stay and stick on the lane that she's sticking on let us stick on it it. I'm over these damn bimbo bird brain 
is, I swear. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all feel about this situation. I'd love to know your thoughts. I mean, click, let's be real. If that was me and I had twins that were still toddlers, I would have said, bye, baby father. See you next weekend. Anywho, click, that's all I got for the click update. I see you guys in the next upload. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys are hitting that like, subscribe, and make sure you guys are turning that post notification bell on to be notified when I drop. I love you guys so much. And if nobody told you that they love you today, just know I love you. Bye. Bye. Shimmy, 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 shim